Welcome back, Egyptology lovers. Today we'll be discussing the pharaonic names of the queens of the pharaoh, which is Nefertari and Nefertiti. What are the differences and who are they? Well, people get confused with these names, so let's simplify and clarify today. Nefertari is the wife of Ramses II the Great, and you can find her name most famously at Abu Simbel uh, down at the Aswan area. And Nefertiti is the wife of the famous also Akhenaten, who is the heretic pharaoh who tried to change the entire religion to a single god known as the Aten. So let's start by reading their names so you know what they mean. Nefertari means beautiful companion, beloved of Mut. So the goddess Mut, the mother. And up here is the cartouche. So we could see it starts right over here. Neferet, the feminine, Neferet, Iri, Neferetiri, or we pronounce it as Neferetari, Neferetari. See how it divides? Iri, Ari. It's pretty much the same, but we pronounce it differently. So Nefertari, which means beautiful companion, right? Beloved of Mut. Nefertari, beloved of Mut. Now, if you're wondering why sometimes the characters are different place and position, that's because the Egyptians believed in aesthetics. It had to fit properly. If you had put the bread loaf over here, it might have created a bit of confusion as to how to set up the rest of the hieroglyphics. This simplifies things. They were all about constructing the right way something would need to be in order to look more aesthetically pleasing. All right, now versus Nefertari is Nefertiti. Her name means beautiful are the beauties of Aten, the beautiful one has come. So this means, so we'll start right over here, Nefer, Neferu, so the singular and the plural, Nefer and Neferu, single and the plural, Eten. So beautiful are the beauties of Eten or Aten. And now we move on to the beauties, excuse me, the beautiful one has come. The beautiful one, Neferet, has come. E has come. So, the beautiful one has come. This is the determinative, so et, so et, I'm sorry about that. Nefer, e, t, this is a t, so nefer, t, t. This determinative symbolizes a sitting queen. So it's another way of adding more beautiful context to the name by adding the determinative for a sitting queen. And for all you Egyptologists or people who love hieroglyphics, it is the B7 reference in the uh, Hieroglyphics Dictionary. Well, there you go. That's the difference between Nefertari and Nefertiti. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. If you find me on Instagram, I have many more of these videos. Uh, you can also go to YouTube and see me there and subscribe and follow. Or on Instagram, just follow or tag other friends if they're interested in learning more about hieroglyphics. Also, let me know if there's anything you may want to learn or another name that you'd like to understand. I'll be happy to show you. Thank you very much and till next time.